we were just kind of talking about this crazy time. How have you been during this pandemic? You know, I'm fine. And, and you know, it's, uh, it's obviously been some adapting, like everyone. Right. Um, so home studios and all of that. But I think in terms of career, voiceover actors are particularly lucky because we can work out of our homes. If you set up your closet or extra bedroom or whatever, um, you have a studio. So that's been brilliant that we haven't really had have to we haven't had to skip too many beats, um, but just the personal toll and you know people are suffering and struggling and yeah. it's it's heartbreaking. I wanted to talk about some pictures that I came across when I was you know researching your career and things like that, and I saw yeah. that at the Wonder Woman premiere uh, not that long ago, you had a chance to meet not only Patty Jenkins uh, but Linda Carter as well. Yes. Is there yes. this kind of intrinsic um, sorority when it comes to Wonder Women? I would like to think there is because, my gosh, I mean, there aren't that many. I mean, there are quite a few in terms of voiceover, mm -hmm. but on camera, I mean, there's Linda and there's Gal really on camera. Um, so that's a huge sisterhood. And obviously Linda has been involved with all the, uh, the Wonder Woman movie publicity and all of that. Yeah, that was just, that was such a surprise to be invited, to be included in that. That was so touching that Patty would do that. And then seeing Linda there, and I'd had an opportunity to meet Linda earlier because I had gone to see her show. She's a cabaret singer. And so I went to see her show in Hollywood here in Los Angeles. So I had met her before, um, but meeting Patty, that was the first time I'd met Patty. And I met Gal surprisingly just by chance in the in the lobby of our agent's office. We have the same agent, believe okay. it or not. And, um, and we just met by chance. And her husband was kind enough to take a picture of us together. You know, it was very, very quick. It was brief, but it was monumental. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd like to think, I'd like to think there is, um, I can't speak for other people, but yeah, I think, and, and I know so many of the voice actors who have voiced her as well. Right. Um, so, you know, different projects, different universes, different, different iterations, but you know, at the end of the day, we're all voice actors and you know, there is a camaraderie. Your Justice League, the animated one from 2001, there is something perennial about that. That cast is, in a sense, a lot of people, a lot of fans especially, still consider that group to be the group. Can you ever let that sink in even after 20 years? You can, because, the, you, because I always talk with the fans, so I have an open dialogue with the fans, so I know what Justice League has meant and means to them. And I think because so many uh, fans met these characters, through the Justice League, that that will always be uh, their connection to the characters. That Wonder Woman will be me, and Batman will be Kevin, and Hop Girl will be Maria. And I think that is such a huge gift for all of us, for all the actors. Um, and I think about that a lot because, I mean, I just got lucky. That's it's that simple. I just got lucky that Bruce Tim and Andrea Romano said okay, we're going to go with Susan. It could have been, there's so much talent in this city. There's so much talent in New York and all these other places. Um, so I, I got lucky. So looking ahead now, mm -hmm. I want to know, because as an 80s child, Masters of the Universe, we've got this reboot, what, reimagining, what would you call it? I would ask Kevin that question. Okay. Um, Kevin Smith, Smith not yeah. Conroy. Um, I don't know what he would refer to it as, and I don't want to mischaracterize it. All I know is that it was completely a surprise that it came into my life, and you know, I'm just overjoyed that I get to be a part of it. I did not, I am not a Masters of the Universe fan. I didn't grow up with He-Man. Mm -hmm. I did some research when I got the job. Um, I listened to a few sorceress um, of yesteryear, mm -hmm. uh, Sorcerai um, from <laughs> yesteryear, and you know, just trying to get a sense of the character. But once you're in the room with Kevin, he, yeah. he knows exactly, exactly what he wants you to do. And that's your job, to give him exactly what he wants. And I right. hope I've done that. Can you give us a little hint? What can we expect from her? Is she different? 21st century version of Sorceress from, you know, previous Sorcerai, as yes. you say? I, I'd say she is, because I think she's, um, 
the, I think she's got a, a tough, a fierceness to her, less ethereal than I thought she was going to be. Because when I would listen to old videos of, on YouTube, I, w I went to YouTube and I'd be like, okay, sorceress. Um, you know, there was an ethereal quality. It was, hello, human. You know, it was like a lot of that. And that's not so much what I'm doing. Um, but I think the fans will dig it. God, they're so well written. And it's, it was such a, I mean, I reached out to the writer because how lucky to be able to say the words like that you just, you know, I'm not a fan. I didn't grow up with it. I grew up with my soap operas. So this is a whole new world to me. And I was so touched by the scripts. I was so touched by them. And there's so much heart. So it's not just like He-Man. You know, it's not, you know, this blah, 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 blah. It's so heartfelt and touching and moving mm -hmm. that, and the relationships and sorcerers and her daughter. And, uh, I'm a fan now, boy, I'll tell you. Kevin Smith made me a fan. Hey, Real Students, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe to Real School, click that round Real School logo right beside me. Also, click that damn notification bell so you're aware of all of Real School's new content. You can follow me on Twitter, and of course, if you get anything out of Real School, you can always give a little back. Just click the link in the description below or the button down there, and you can become part of my Patreon team.